Waterless urinals, they could save over 35 gallons every time these guys swirly dust. Falls away, and you realize you're no longer two people, but one soul united. Um... Gay! <laughs> How are we gonna get dates? I don't know. Who, who are guys that get lots of girls? Celebrities? You're right. We need new headshots. Dude, our headshots almost got us the Oshkosh Bagosh campaign. I'm keeping them. We prefer slightly too large over boyish, but this is low priority. Look, I'd love to stay and tell you how disgusting you are, but I gotta go dump out to make room for this hot and cheesy hoagie. Ah, the dodo. Raphus Kukulakis. These magnificent creatures would still be around today if not for the bloodthirsty Dutch hunting them to extinction in 1662. And if we ask every girl in school, odds are two of them are bound to go to prom with us. Sorry, not interested. I don't think so. In your dreams, nerd. What about... No! Don't you understand? Twins! I can't believe this! We're gonna be the last virgins on the planet! Well, what are we supposed to do? Every girl turned us down. Even the quadriplegic girl blinked no. And we bone them! Totally on board. But where do we get DNA for our TNA? Darn! We only got one DNA sample! And stay out, perverts! <laughs> gonna name yours? I want mine to have a sexy stripper name, like Honey. I'm gonna name mine after my great-grandmother. This backfired. I know. In every cloning movie, they come out fully grown. This isn't a movie, Steve. This is real life. We waltzed into the CIA to clone dates from pubic hair and spit. So can we just drop them off and pick them up after school? Oh, no, 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 no. Not so fast. We don't take just any children. There's a rigorous application process. We don't have time for this. We'll find someplace else. Wait. <laughs> you guys, you guys are like little people. And only two hours late. Oh, it's okay. Five years old by now. Do you realize what this means? At the accelerated rate they're growing, they're going to be the right age for prom by Saturday. Cool. We can just leave them here. Whoa, 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 sirs. This is a daycare. Your girls are getting too old. How old do you have to be to go to the Waffle House? Oh, that's not what you meant. Thank heaven for little girls. Oh, little girls, get bigger every day. <laughs> okay, girls, time for bed. I'm so excited for prom tomorrow. Good night, ladies. Wait, we made you something to wear to prom. Time to punch our V-cards. I'd love to tell you I feel unprepared, but the space between my couch cushions would beg to differ. Okay, they're ready. Dude! Dude. Can you girls give us a second? I I don't know if I can go through with this. I mean, I raised Glitter. She's practically my daughter. I know. I feel the same way about Honey. Where did Snot and Glitter go? I'm a man made out of water. I'm a water man. Do you know what this means? Don't just sit there and stare at me, you sack of water. Say something. We're water. So, where are you from? The CIA. 
Huh, small world. I work there. And, uh, how long have you and Steve been friends? My whole life. <laughs> Steve, I know you cloned these girls. If the CIA finds out, I'll lose my job. Now I gotta unclone them. Unclone means kill. Whoops. Unclone means kill. Honey! <gasps> the answer is... Spain. Keep up your learning, America. Now, Stephen Snot, take it away! <gasps> Glitter, you're not just some conquest. You're an amazing and beautiful young woman. And that's how you should be treated. My sister was right. You are somebody's daughter. Mine. There's no one else like you in this entire universe. That clone has to die, Steve! You can't kill her! I raised her from a little loogie! We're all water, Steve. Maybe. No! This can't be happening! You can't die yet! You haven't experienced all the wonderful things I've dreamt for you. Because of you, I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Time to die. Get away from me! Oh, God! Oh, God, it hurts! No one's ever felt this kind of pain before! I know it's hard, Dad, but we're both gonna have to learn to let go. <laughs> Ew, look at Steve Smith. Is it supposed to be- I even started calling you Steviosis! Not to my face! No, behind your back. Behind your creepy, deformed back. Yep, there it is. All right, we're all packed. You ready to go, Francine? How can I spend a week at a spa when I've just learned that my son has a horrible deformity? Mom, I don't think it's a... I mean, it's not like it's my fault. Your father was the one who threw footballs at my stomach when I was pregnant so you'd be good at sports. Instead, it just made you a cripple. Bye! Don't eat my yogurt! No way. It's social suicide. I'm not going. Steve, sit down. Son. Different! Freak! <laughs> Two passes. Roger! Are you kidding me? Then why did you invite both of us? Gee, I don't know, Haley. You think it might have something to do with me being drunk all the time? I'm an alcoholic. I have a problem. I'm just not ready to deal with it yet. Our two radio contest winners. Who's the big Nickelback fan? Guilty! Well, you're lucky. We normally charge 1800 bucks a head. And what if I gave you $1,800 and five cents? He can't be mad at me for leaving school early. He'll understand when he sees what I've endured. Dad, I know it's only what's on the inside that matters, but I'm just not as strong as... <gasps> Ooh. It all started in high school. I had horrific acne and was ridiculed mercilessly for it. I tried everything. My second day was the worst. The acne medicine caused your hair to fall out. Well, yes, how did you know? Well, you're telling a story about how you went bald. Especially not your mother. She'd lose all interest in me. She loves my hair, Steve. She tells me every time we're bu bu banging Ah, gross! Dad, you said the only thing that matters is what's on the inside. ...can be at the spa, while the third one stays up here, trying on Haley's clothes and laughing at himself in the mirror. I guess we could take turns. Of course, it'll be easy. Now get over here and help me finish this. Don't Portuguese out on me. That's sweet. Kiss. Huh? I'm told it's not uncommon for married persons to kiss. So, kiss. Hear me say, I'm done, go clean up, you disgust me. Stupid <laughs> braced. Hey, buddy. What do you want? Look, I know you're a little miffed with your old... Dad, just leave me alone. Steve, come on. You know, I might have left school early yesterday, but I did learn something. Where I got my weak backbone from. Really? You do this for me? Hey, we're gonna go out there and face the world as we are. 
You know, I think people might just surprise us. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a pretty good day. Well, you're lucky. Work was awful. But it doesn't even matter, because I'm not going back. I'm never going back! Dad, the worst part's over. There's nothing they can do to you that hasn't already been done. Yeah, all this sneaking around is not relaxing at all. Okay, okay, go ahead. Walk right through the lobby. But what if that detective sees you with someone other than me? It'll cost you 1800 bucks. Too many people have a key to the pistachio closet. Mm-hmm, that's what you said four weeks ago. I can't help but think your father would have had this case solved by now. Sorry, Mr. Chimdale. He's wearing his hair! He lied to me! I will now attempt a simple coordination test with these blocks. Mom, when I tell her you're bald! You wouldn't dare. I'm on my way to Chimdale right now. <laughs> you poor, naive, crooked-backed SOB. Who's your mother gonna believe? That's something you don't. Your hair. <gasps> you know, Steve, I don't say it often enough, but I love you. And the Oscar goes to... Where do you keep your wigs? Why should I tell you? Because I, I need to get them appraised. For insurance purposes. Oh, finally, thank you. Some of them are on tour with Angela Lansbury, and the rest are down in my wig cellar. Oh, my God. I think you fixed it. Oh. Mom? I don't understand. It should have worked. I learned that move from a chiropractor in his van. Found it. It's bungee to my wrist. Oh, forgot my water bottle. <laughs> Roger, she's suffocating. <gasps> you were gonna let me die for eighteen hundred dollars? No. Yes. No. There's three of you. Fine, you got us. We're busted. <laughs> Mr. Chimdale. Well done, Ron. I knew I had to devise the most difficult case in spa history to make you into the greatest spa detective. Retire me. <laughs> Hello? I'm almost to mom, sucker. I can already smell the Chimdale salt flats. How are you getting to Chimdale? That's for... Behold, mother! Your husband is a giant... Wait a minute, this isn't Chimdale. Steve! Oh, brownies! Give me back my hair, Steve! Not a chance! Uh -huh. Ooh. For the best barbecue ribs in the state? Whoa, whoa, are we talking Q right now? We talking Q? Because I got news for you. I only know two things, perpetual virginity and ribs. <laughs> got it. You almost had your old man, Steve, but it's time for you to go home. Fine. You were supposed to stop me! The gesture should have been enough! What? 